Hey guys, this is Austin Weep here. Uh, so recently, I was um, I was talking to my niece, and um, you know she was kind of upset, and she was holding a grudge about something. And I explained it to her in a way that was uh, very clear to her that it was uh, kind of a dumb idea. So um, I'm gonna explain to you guys the same way. So my niece was holding onto this grudge, and it was long overdue that she drop it. Okay, long overdue. So uh, my niece basically, you know. She was holding on to this grudge and she was just so upset about something. And I explained it to her like this, okay? We tend to, everyone does this, we tend to hold on to grudges for way too long. Way, way too long. Way past when we should actually let go of them. We hold on to grudges, we like to hold on to them, right? We think we're making the other person that harmed us suffer by holding on to these grudges. But the only person that gets hurt in it is us, right? The other person doesn't even know that they did something to offend us anymore, but we just tend to, you know, hurt ourselves by holding on to this thing for too long. So what I did was I told my niece something. I said, so picture it like this. You're in a war and um, you pick out a grenade. You pull the pin on it. I said, um, are you going to hold on to that grenade for a long time? She goes, well, no, that's a dumb idea. Right? I said, yeah, so what do you plan to do? And she said, well, you throw it as far as you can. Right? I said, exactly. It's the same thing that a grudge does. Okay? Uh, you might be in the heat of the moment, in the heat of a battle or something like that, and then someone throws this thing that you can just hold a grudge over. What you need to do is you need to throw that thing as far away from you as possible. I'm not saying just let go and drop it and walk away. I'm saying you throw that thing as far as you can, right? And you run away, okay? I'm not saying drop it and walk away. I'm saying throw it and run away, right? The thing is with a grudge, the we want to hold on to it because it's we think that we're hurting the other person. But what actually ends up happening is it just blows up in our face and we end up being the only ones hurt by it, right? In the same way, I'm going to venture to guess that some of you guys out there are holding on to grudges that are long past their time, long overdue, that you just forgive it and walk away. See, Jesus sets the perfect example in this, in that he died on the cross for our sins. He died on the cross letting go of all grudges, right? He paid the ultimate price. And when Jesus died on the cross, he didn't die with a clenched fist. He died with an open hand. He let go of things, right? The thing is, though, is that when you hold on to a grudge, it can blow up in your face, and the other person doesn't even know that they did anything to you, right? So what I'm going to say to you guys simply is how to handle a grudge. It's very simple. You throw it away from you. Don't hold on to the grudge. Don't wait for it to blow up in your face. Let go, right? Some of you guys are holding on to grudges that you've been holding on to for years, for years too long. But Jesus set the perfect example for us in that he didn't hold on to these grudges. He let go of them, right? The same way I'm going to encourage you guys, if you guys have a grudge, something negative that you're holding on to, it's very simple, okay? I want you to get rid of it, no matter what it is. Forgive it, get past it, and that's it continue living your life. It's only going to hold you back, right? So, um, my advice to you, if you're holding on to a grudge, is to pull the pin on that grenade and throw it as far away from you as possible. Don't let it blow up in your face, right? So, um, I want to thank you guys for listening, and I will see you guys next time.